everyone this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and I had a few requests I posted this on my blog maybe a week ago and I had a few requests for people that wanted to see how I, I did it so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on it um, I did some of the stamping and stuff already because I wanted to make this a pretty quick one um, it's going to be my last card tutorial for the holiday series and um, but keep close because there's new and exciting things coming for 2015 um, I have so many things running through my head <laughs> for cards and boxes so it's going to be an exciting year so let's get started with this the first thing that we're going to use and for the other card I used whisper white but I thought I'd try to use the real red for this one and this is the card base it's eight and one quarter by five and a half and what we're going to do is let me just grab the scoring tool and we'll score real quick because this is really the only score mark we'll need and it's two and three quarters so it'll be two and three quarters and we're just going to score that and I'll get my bone folder out here and we're going to fold that over just like that so that is our basic card now you're going to need some matting pieces and this piece um, to mat is five and a half by five and a half and that will be our bottom piece and then you're going to need another piece five and a half by two and three quarters that will be for the top and you're going to need two pieces of real red these are one half by five and a half and then you will need a 4x4 four four piece of Whisper White and this is some designer series paper that we are going to just mat this uh, Whisper White on and this designer series paper is four and a half by four and a half and then you do need just a scrap piece of paper to create a frame and how I created this frame was to use my Stampin' Up! Framelits and I just used the large scallop and then you just set it, let me scoot these out of the way a minute, and you just set it inside and if you have the magnetic platform you know it's super easy it'll just cling to there and make sure it's all even, run it through your big shot and you will get this little frame. So let's go ahead and just mat all these pieces with your snail this way and then we'll mat the top piece that I got that a little bit off center but we'll fix it and this top piece will fit on the here I'm just going to trim that little edge because it's hanging over. Okay, so then what we'll do is I'm going to mat the, uh, this Whisper White on top of here. center that and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp Santa from my Santa stash um, you've seen this I know several times because I've used it a lot I love him and I'm going to use some memento black so we'll ink him up and this one um, you're not going to color or anything we're just going to stamp him in the center And then I'm also going to use this little snowflake from the Holiday Home and I'm going to use some Soft Sky and I'm just going to put a few little snowflakes behind him. Okay, 
Now the next thing that we're going to do is I would stamp another Santa. And I've already done that and I've um, cut him out. I fussy cut him out and I colored him with my blend abilities. And then I'm going to pop him up on top of this one just to give this card some dimension. So I'm going to put a few on the back and I'm very generous with my my dimensionals. <laughs> I want him to pop up evenly so I do like to use the dimensionals. Get those backings off and then we're just going to lay him right over the top and I hope I'm getting them even because I don't want to get my head in the way and then the next thing I did was I have a little um, bell that I got from my local um, it's really tiny <laughs> my local craft store and I'm gonna put a glue dot on there on the end of his little tassel there and I'm just gonna stick the little bell on there okay so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take these um, one half inch by five and a half inch and we're gonna um, attach these to the top here and I'm just gonna use some snail for that it's just like a little bit of a trim Now we're ready to attach this piece. Now what we'll do is I'll use some fast fuse, but I'm only going to go like halfway up here and I'm going to put it on this piece so that I don't get too much on the back of this. So I'm just going to go lay a few things down here, just go halfway up and we will center him and line your bottom down here even with the other and we'll just lay that down there and I forgot to stamp the ho 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 so let me grab that let me grab some real red and this one is for, from Good Greetings which is a um, hostess set so let's let me put that up here. Ah, I kind of got it a little blurred, but it's all right. Okay, so now we're ready to attach the frame. And what I did was I just put a bunch of dimensionals along the back because I want to pop up the frame too. So we'll lay the frame over the top. And I'm hoping I got this even because it's hard to see if I can't get my head over it. Over it. So that's that. And I'm going to grab some of my Nordic Noel buttons and some glue dots. And I'm going to put three little buttons at the top. And I'll center one there. use the little blue ones these are the cutest buttons too if you get a chance to get these these are adorable look at these little red ones uh, let me get those up a little bit further Okay, so that is it. And it's that quick and easy. Um, he just opens like that, and if he, he can even stand like that. That's why you want to make him even here, 
because it'll stand up and then you can also put a little piece of whisper white in the center and uh, stamp your sentiment but um, that's that's it so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial this will be our, my last one for the for Christmas so um, I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and I will see you again soon. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog as usual at stampingwiththemore.com. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye.